You're watching East Texas Live. Shannon Franzen is with us. She is the chair-elect of the Greater Tyler Association of Realtors, and she's here with some tips and tricks for homeowners who are wanting to add curb appeal to their homes. And talk about curb appeal. I really hear about this from a lot of realtors. How important is curb appeal? Curb appeal is really important. That is the first impression people get when they drive by your house and look at it. That's that's what makes them want to make that phone call or stop and come into your open house. Well, you know, you say it's just common sense, but I remember I was looking for a house a couple of years ago and I was amazed by how many people hadn't kept their grass mowed. Right. Yeah, that's the step. first thing. Get that grass mowed in edge and blow. Trim those shrubs, make them look good. All right, so how important is it to keep up like the flower beds and I have some other ornamental trees, you gotta keep the mulch on them. Is it really important to keep that up tippy top too? It really is. And I know it's been hard this year with the weather and all those things and maybe you don't wanna do a bunch of landscaping right now. But if you just trim and clean up and replace the mulch, fresh mulch goes a long, long way. And they even say that like the high contrast black mulch makes people think your house is worth more. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I, th I think we're also in a situation here where even if you clean up your flower bed and put down some mulch, uh, you got to dig up some dead plants. Yes. Doesn't that look horrible with the brown in front of the house? Just, just take the dead ones out, yes. <laughs> All right, now how, how important is the front door to a realtor? It's important as well because we walk up to that front door and while I am messing with my lot box and stuff, my buyers are standing there looking at your door. And very often a seller doesn't actually use their front door. You go in through your garage and it's been a while since you actually looked at that door. So does it need a coat of paint or a coat of gel stain or, you know, a Danish oil goes a long way on a wood door. Clean it up, get those cobwebs off and get it looking nice. You know, something else I noticed when I was looking at a lot of houses is how many of them have the scratch marks from the dog uh -huh. trying to get in. So I think weather stripping might be something we can add to the list on, on your curb appeal. Yeah, absolutely. What about the rest of the porch? I know you don't want junk and trash and toys up there, but what about right. your chairs and maybe some patio yeah. furniture? Do you recommend that? I think, you know, get it good and clean, maybe a power wash, you know, a cute chair or a sign and a fresh clean door bat. Just what, go buy a new doormat. What do I need to know? Uh, what else about curb appeal that people often miss? You know, once on that front door, um, there are studies that say a pot of yellow flowers makes your house feel more welcoming. You know, a new wreath on the door. Make sure your key works. That's another thing, just general curb appeal. When a key, if, if I'm standing there messing with your key. What, so the, the, the yellow flowers, black mulch, what are these? These are some uh, like little teeny tiny details, but you're sitting there saying them on TV. I guess this stuff really makes a difference. It does make a difference. It makes a difference in your photos and getting those people to stop and say they want to see that house. It, it, you know, it's amazing because you think when you live in a house, so you're going to spend 99% of your time in the house, but right. they are making judgments on that 1% of the view that they get. And, uh, you know, with interest rates back to normal, you don't need any excuse for someone to drive by your house, I suppose. That's right, absolutely. All right, so Shannon's with the uh, Greater Tyler Association of Realtors. For more information, go to gtar.com. See it right here, just gtar.com. <laughs> thank you very much for your time, Shannon. All right, thank you.